Hello everyone, welcome to the community and we are all here for winning dreams. So on that note, I'm going to start with a very important topic for your testnet, which is the fill in the blank. So often we get scared of this topic, how will this happen, how will this type of questions come, how will this question come, so this video will be covered in this video. So don't forget to watch it till the end. Now, firstly, introduction to articles. To fill in the blank, in this video, I will cover two main topics. Article and preposition. So, articles are two types. One is indefinite articles and one is definite articles. So, indefinite articles are a and an. Now, a is used and used and an is used. Everyone has learned in school, but now what is happening? We forget the basic things. So, a is used with a new singular noun with a consonant or a consonant sound. So, before we begin, the vowels are A-E-I-O-U. Let's leave the rest of the English language in English language. We call the 21 letters in the English language. So, where is the consonants? So, where is the A used? Or that thing is singular. That means only one. And where it starts with a consonant, like A-E-I-O-U. So, bat, cat, dance. These are, sorry, dance is not a noun, but dancing girl. Okay, so that way, if we look at it, then, इन वर्ड्स के पहले अ आ सकता है। कंसोनेंट साउंड होने से भी, सो कंसोनेंट साउंड आज इन व्हेन यू राइट द वर्ड से यूनिवर्सिटी, ओके? दो इट इस रिटेन विद अ यू व्हिच इस अ वावल, बट द प्रोनाउंसिएशन इस यूनिवर्सिटी, व्हिच इस विद अ यो, द वाई। सो दैट इस अगेन अ कंसोनेंट साउंड, उससे पहले भी अ but with vowels or vowel sounds. So, A, E, I, O, U se pehle. So, an umbrella. Okay, because U is a, um, it is an article, sorry. And vowel sound se bhi. So, for example, an air. So, though it begins with H, which is a consonant, but the pronunciation is air. Okay, H is silent. So, in that case, we will use an, the article an and it's a singular. So, two things to check. Number one, is it singular or plural? If it is singular, then we use articles generally. And if it is beginning with a vowel or a consonant or a vowel or consonant sound, that is the pronunciation. Now, the definite article is, of course, the. So, the plus superlative. Superlative is best, sorry, good, better, best. So, best is your superlative. On the top, good has no definition. And the and proper nouns. So, proper nouns are Names of places, names of animals, uh, so those are proper nouns. Now, comparison between the and a, uh, so let's look at it. I have to go to the bank. So, the bank and why is the called the specific article? Because it means you have to be specific. It specifies something. Is there a bank near here? A bank. So, that then you don't know anything about it. I mean, there bank be bank. But the bank means you're talking about a specific bank. I don't like going to the dentist, okay? My sister is a dentist. So, the dentist, you are specifying that you don't like going to a particular dentist. And my sister is a dentist. It is a profession, so it is generic. So, you don't need to specify and you can simply say a dentist. Now, let's look at a few questions. She is blank excellent student. So, what did I say? First, we will see that singular is not. So, this is singular. And, uh, student here because and it begins with e so e is a vowel right so we will begin with uh an we will choose an over here we will eliminate a uh, the or no article i need blank advice on this matter again noun form is advice and advice is singular so we will use an over here because it is beginning with a vowel he is blank honest man now though it begins with a consonant we will still use an because it is honest over here. Oh, honest. Okay, so that is the pronunciation. The vowel sound is there. So we will eliminate A, C and D. Pretty simple. Is type of questions a sakte hai. And we will go to double blank uh, questions also. So just hold on for a little more time. They live blank old house. So old house is singular. O is vowel, sound is also that of a vowel, so we will go for an art, uh, for an. Mary wants to be engineer, okay? Again, singular, E is a vowel, vowel sound, so an engineer. Mostly some and questions are here. Let's see. 
Now we go to double blank. Can't we go for blank vacation in blank mountains? So vacation is singular, begins with a consonant. So can't we go for a vacation? Now if I look at the process of elimination, a khali a mein hai. Option a mein first option is a. And nahi hoga and can we go for the vacation? We are not talking about a specific a vacation like general baat ho hai. In the mountains. So now you are specifying not beaches, uh, not forests but mountains. So it will be the. So we choose option A, eliminate B, C and D. So it will be a vacation in the mountains. The so This soap has blank mild odor. Again mild odor, soap, this is singular. So the subject is singular over here which is soap and we will pick a singular article over here. So we can use or and and this starts with a consonant and has a consonant sound. So we will go with a over here. We will eliminate and the and no article. Now, the success of blank scientific experiment depends on blank careful planning. So, the success of a scientific uh, experiment depends on the careful planning. So, you need to be specific with the planning. But any scientific experiment. So, this is singular and this starts with a consonant. So, we will go with option A. We will eliminate options B, C and D. It is blank honor to work with blank world-renowned scientist on this project. So, it is an honor ho jayega yaha pe. Now comes the tricky part. It is an honor to work with a world-renowned scientist or the. Now, you are being so specific and it's almost like a superlative world-renowned scientist. So, we will go with the a world-renowned, uh, sorry, a world-renowned scientist over here or the world-renowned scientist. So it is specific and superlative, so we will go with the. It is an honor to work with the world-renowned scientist. So we will eliminate A, B, and D. Now, dash honest person will always choose dash the right path in life. So we will choose an and the. An honest person will always choose the right path in life. Now that we've covered articles, let's move on to prepositions. So a preposition is a word that begins with a prepositional phrase and shows relationship between its object and some other word in the sentence. So about, among, between, beneath, upon, with, within, without, up, down. These are all different types of prepositions. So uh, before we begin, let's look at a few examples over here. On and in who kaise use karte, is cheez mein kaafi lo confuse ho jate. So on is used when the space is considered as a surface. In is presented as an area. So example, Ankita and her friends are practicing on the field. We always say, when we listen to, uh, you know, the commentary uh, for cricket, they always say, uh, the uh, he is on the field. The player is running on the field, not in the field. Because it's a surface. It's considered as a surface. Uh, now, Buffaloes are grazing in the field because it is an area that we are talking about. So, in this case, we are in use. Currently. The dew drop made patterns on the window because the surface of the window is being considered over here. And your face appeared in the window. In the window as in when your face appears in the window. Like uh, if there's a space in which the, uh, the face is appearing. Alright? It doesn't mean on the window. It's not a reflection. It is in the window. Now, Moving on to the prepositions of time, uh, for which we use for, which, and during in almost interchangeably, but that's not the right grammatical usage. For is used to express a duration or a period of time, or when you have to ask how long. Okay? Jab ye question aata na, how long, tab for use hota hai. So, for three weeks, for many years. While is used in a verb form and when something is happening simultaneously. So, while I was watching TV, while I was living in Mumbai. During is used with a noun to express time and it answers the question when. When something has happened or is happening. So, when did you see me dancing? During class. Uh, when did she go hungry? During the war. Okay. Uh, when did she not attend the classes? During exams. So, when ka answer during se hota hai. How long ka answer for se hota hai. Come on, let's look at a few questions in the fill in the blanks format. He is allergic Blank cats. So on cats, with cats, by cats, he's allergic to. You are generally allergic to certain things. Okay. She is interested. Blank music. She is interested in music. With any sort of subject, we will say in music. The book is blank the table. 
so the table is being used as a surface in this case we will use on the surface moving on he worked blank the park so we are talking about an area not the surface so he worked in the park not on at or through we will meet blank three o'clock so with time we generally use at not in on or by the cat jumped blank the table and then blank the chair so the cat jumped on to the table and then over the chair so uh, because he has to jump the chair also the cat is jumping the chair also so it cannot jump under over or uh, sorry it cannot jump under across or below the chair it has to jump over and it cannot jump in even if it is across the chair if i may consider across over here it cannot jump in the table it has to jump onto the table so the correct answer is option b <clears throat> the book is blank the shelf blank the library so the book is on the shelf in the library the shelf is being used as a surface to keep the book and library is the space where the shelf is also there so in this case we will you we will choose option c on the shelf in the library see there are many confusing options over here in and on in and at on and at but you need to just simply remember the rule that surface kya hai and space kya hai he is good blank solving problems blank a team so he is good not in solving problems or with solving problems he is good at it's a subject so he is good it's an activity so he is good at solving problems in a team so the correct answer is option b for this question all right the keys are blank the drawer blank the desk so the keys are now the drawer it has to it takes up space it is not a surface right so we will use in over here on that basis i can actually eliminate bc and d under the desk so a drawer can be under the desk so we will go for option a he is married blank the doctor and has three children blank his wife so he is married to a doctor so there are two options with two b and d so and has three children by his wife or with his wife you don't have children by your wife you have children with the wife so with his wife that is why it will be option d i hope this video helps you and you can ace the fill in the blank questions in your test net paper and don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you found it helpful do let us know any problems or doubts in the comments below all the best